the Hey Sonic 2006 sites. This is still Pokey Captain. This is still Luminosis Poochie. This is still Pokey Captain. And this is <laughs> new and improved with 50% less fat <laughs> Medibot. <laughs> so, a uh, little word of explanation here. What happened is that uh, technology came out on top and the microphone didn't record anything. So, we're really cool. Whoa. 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 Run a tat tat and uh, since, since you don't get the delicious game audio for these uh, epic cutscenes, we're going we're gonna to try and deliver some. Yeah. It's a shame you don't get to hear my original in-studio voice acting for this. Trick. That was transmission from HQ. There's an SOS coming in from Dr. Eggman's base. Our last communication with Lunar Agent was 26 hours ago. We expect an immediate rescue, Shadow the Hedgehog. Understood. Initiating the mission now. Ah, uh, wait. He's gone. Zoop. What? That's how? it. Game's over. Oh. Well, how, how does he have invisible technology? Uh, chaos control. Yes. Right. Right. He, he's, he's he's got a Sorry. couple of those, and he keeps them in his chest hair. Ew. <laughs> hey, it's <gets> smelly. But <laughs> bacteria grow in there. But you know what? Is chaos can. Bacteria. He can chaos control the bacteria away from him. Well, no, that's not uh, cutscene. Oh. But he says things. He does say things. But it's okay. not a cutscene. Anyway. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, we're back to the. Oh, uh, this is where you have to infiltrate Shadow Moses Island. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And it's like you're skating, except you're not skating. And you're going backward up that rail. Good job, Pokey Captain. I'm having control trouble with the camera. It's pretty bad. And we're learning how Sonic uh, Shadow, Shadow controls. Locking yeah. and charcoal. Basically, um, what he's got is that after you hit someone with the homing attack, there's a small interval where if you keep pushing the button, he does come through. In the air. In the air. Which is great, except for the fact that one, it slows down your ability to homing attack even more than Sonic does. Why didn't you just get hurt there? Uh, I touched the part. Alright. And then two, um... It addresses a problem that shouldn't exist, which is enemies having more than one health. At least there's no uh, sled sledding. Uh, no snowboarding. Snowboarding. Um, well, I mean, you got, you got rocket boots. Oh, uh, uh, what I'm saying, there's no snowboarding. Yes. Good thing. So you can't have the snowboarding that goes uphill, just as well as downhill, and have to do fun that. And you also don't have to make the jump. <laughs> And, again, the Havoc physics engine causes the giant tower to collapse in a very slow-falling pile of timbers. Thanks. And I think we're going to test out right now uh, whether or not we yes. can... Yeah. Whether we can knock it down. Well, yeah, we're, no, we're, what you we're, have to do is... We're trying to climb up and hit the light. You have to get rid Bam. To, to, so of So it works just as well with Shadows as the sun. Well, he seemed a little slower at it because he was doing kung fu instead of jumping. Right. Eventually, I get the rhythm down for when I can repeatedly homing attack and when I can kung fu. And you can't homing attack that ring or something. Yeah. But your bow is full. Use your bow. The bow uh, for chaos. Here? No, it's for um, the chaos overdrive. You can home onto switches though. Yeah, and I hit the switch, and uh, that door doesn't open. A more difficult door will open. Yeah, well... So, I'm trying to figure out what door is open, and it makes no sense. Maybe it's that one. Well, at least you can... Over there. there. Oh, you know. No. Uh, don't jump off. That was uh, really easy to Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> um... I should really remember where this is. No, you should... No, Shadow Moses Island changes every day. All exactly. Right. The, I mean, there are similar areas in some of them, but they change everything. You know, the thing I love about the Shadow of Moses is that how they, how they just yeah, yeah, cool. make the, the trees, you know? <laughs> and they're so great and beautiful and everything, and I love trees, but I don't love it when their branches make me not able to see Guy. You know, I want to see the guy. I, I like the guy more than I like trees. Yeah. And I can't see him in... Well, there he goes. I, I, and he's I dead. understand this feeling. You gotta see that guy. So sometimes you just want an to kill a bunch of geoduders. Look at these geoduders, all dead. And here we go. Well, you have to hit the king. Anything that makes sense. Ah. 
Well, that's, that's the checkpoint into the next zone of the show, Shadowmost <laughs> Island. This game really does love the random war poles for no plot reason whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, the island is made of science, so... Various sphincters in time and space. Usually just space, though, because time is, like, chaos control and... You, you need two chaos animals to make a time stone. But those sphincters look about the same. Okay, and now we're playing as Rouge. Who we hate. Yes. Not so much. No, we don't really hate her. She's, yeah. a lot, she's a lot more useful than Knuckles because of that attack, which is to toss a bomb, and it is actually useful in that it does damage. But she does the same not getting off of walls. Thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't need to worry about that because I can just stay on the wall for the most part. And you can do that and slap a wall and it dies. That is pretty cool, though. Yeah. Uh, she is basically the same, though. Uh, except she's, um... Oh, what's she like? Oh, and the monster just disappeared, I guess. <laughs> In, uh, oh, no, it's gone. Never mind where and it went. And there's a peace wave. <laughs> wow. You win. Never mind where it went. It doesn't matter. It's just gone. Bad luck. You didn't get this fabulous prize. <laughs> you you, you could have won the Porsche. You could have won the Porsche, but no, no. Uh, Instead, uh, you, you didn't know that it was a knight at the opera. Now they saw it. was, it. in fact, a knight. They the saw what? It was a knight at the theater, but it wasn't. It was a knight oh. at the opera instead. We've made it back mm, up to the back out. And what you can do is spin dash into him. Ooh, and there's one of the vehicles. Uh, I don't see it yet. Yeah, but I, I don't. Do. I don't see it for about seven minutes. <laughs> you don't really need it for about seven minutes. No, we need it immediately. The vehicle... Oh, slow-moving rocket... Hit me with your best shot. Um, um. <laughs> I'm down on my knees. So here's what happens. We're supposed to break the searchlights. Yeah, all of them. And I haven't seen the vehicle yet, so I'm pretty sure that I have to... I'm, I'm wanting a vehicle, but since I don't see any, I figure I have to take this into my own hands. Oh, right. So, somewhere in here, it's, it tells us about using rockets or something, and we're just wondering... Right there. Like, we're yeah. guessing that there's, like, a... You need yeah. to use missiles, so we, we're, we're, we're all we're, like, where are the missiles? Where's the... There should be a vehicle around here. Where's the vehicle? Or actually, we thought there was a gun, because he has guns. Yeah, yeah. In, in his other game. And, well... Maybe he would have a rocket launcher. So now we're destroying searchlights. Only then, that, this one doesn't want to get destroyed. It, it and wants it is to as yet you. a mystery why it will not be destroyed. Or at least partial mystery. Uh, slow moving fist of unforgetting <laughs> my butt. <laughs> Make it hurt good nice. Uh, yes. Uh, but Kung Fu is effective. Oh. Uh, oh no, we're uh, initializing. We're initializing the Miriam voice DB Vocaloid. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Never mind that. We'll have to we'll cross. Just, we'll just overdo our, all our voices in Vocaloid. That's what we'll do. Miriam will be our, yeah. This video won't be posted for we'll five years, sorry. We'll have to put Illuminati's Vespucci in a basket made of reeds and float them down the river. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be found by an Egyptian princess, and her name will be Rose Red. And she'll found a hospital for cancer children. And then it will be haunted. And then we'll have to hire a paranormal investigator. And, yeah, well, you know the rest of the story. <laughs> so, yeah, keep an eye out uh, for my new game coming this, this September. I uh, can. Yeah. you have any screenshots of that? Uh, yeah, you did. Uh, what, Put them up website? on the screen right now. Uh, yeah, um, uh, www.partytempcity.com. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, I, I forgot so. to mention the... Um, the name of the paranormal investigator is Rex Ruther, and he's a Chinese immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> from, from, from Beijing? No. No. From Canton. <laughs> from, from Cancun? Yes. <laughs> from Tijuana? From okay, Bank, so here we go. Bangkok. This searchlight will not get destroyed. But by all But you right. went inside of it. Exactly. That you're, you're beating up its light source, but it will not So at this oh, point... Hey, there was a moon up there. Yep. Was that was that actually like blown up or? No, uh, it looked full. It looked it like was it full. was not. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe anyway. it turned so you didn't see the blown up side. Oh, I think I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe when when Eggman blew it up, it spun from the force of it. Ah, uh, so it, so the blown up part is on the opposite side, but it's still maintaining its. Uh, well, the other thing is that we get geo synchronicity. No, up, up, until, up until now, we've had no indication that this is Earth. The first indication that we had that we were actually playing this game on Earth was the fact that 
Shadow is working for the president or the government of these great United States of America. Exactly, the same same president he was working he befriended in previous games. <laughs> well, well, I still like my theory better. Like this game, there are a bunch of like interdimensional travelers or something, and they just use the Chaos Emeralds to just that do whatever they want. Does kind of explain Blaze. I, I think, and it's we're, like we're somehow in an alternate universe. Oh, and they found I a buggy. I found the car. So they're so the basically, hog, and I this think, is the uh, so, sorry. So Eggman goes to another universe because he wants to take it over or something, and because he wants to get away from Sonic. But then Sonic just follows him because he's got Chaos Emeralds. Does Sonic follow him, or just alternate dimension? Sonic just immediately start no, breaking his stuff. No, because Sonic, no, there's only think, one Sonic. Yeah, there's only one Sonic. Sonic gets pulled in. He might, he gets pulled in, or he chooses to go. It depends on the thing. And then, you know, his friends, they all come too. That's why some of them flip in and out, like those ones from Sonic the Fighters or whatever. They, yeah, they're not. They're not, no, they don't always choose to come in yeah, well, to the dimensions. They're busy guys. They, and they the Chaotix gotta, people, I mean, come on. You know, there's no Chaotix guys here. Yeah, they were in Shadow, though. Yeah, it's true. What, was but Vector they, they, in there? Yeah, yeah well, Vector. Vector okay. they, they were gone until Sonic Heroes, and then they showed back up. Alright, so what, that's what I'm saying. It makes sense, right? Yeah. 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 But it's like, it's all Eggman, and he's evil, and he leaves and goes to different universes, and tries to take them over. He just happened to stay in Earth for a while. And here's where we first discovered how completely unwieldy he is. And how the stupid is. the vehicle is. And it just moved. Oh. And it explodes. Oh. And then oh, a new no. one just appears. It's right there. Luckily, oh, look. we were right by the spawn point. Someone form. left this armored buggy here. Maybe it still works. Oh. I've got a shiny new buggy. And how's the ammo system for the vehicles um, work again? The ammo system is that you fire shots, and then it'll reload itself and possibly take off a little bit of health. Does it take off health when you fire a shot? I... Or reload, rather? I think so. Well, maybe not. Indeterminate. Maybe I just hit myself a lot. It rolls a d20. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that did hurt your vehicle uh, this, a lot. And notice when you're upside down, it like doesn't... Uh, it doesn't register for it a doesn't, long time. Well, no, it doesn't do any health damage. It just blows up the vehicle. Yeah. I mean, it should like gradually like count down, you know, while you're inoperable. Well, no, it should give you a button to flip itself over. But it, it's not blowing up because it's broken. It's blowing up because they couldn't figure no, out a way to work. It's blowing the up game because they, when they gave it to you, it was already covered in butter. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> have not been so foolish? So how many of these searchlights do we have? Seven. We. Uh, we have a bunch of searchlights, but we've only blown up two. Yeah, yeah. but like, how there's many like seven. I don't know. You only blew up the you searchlight. Blew up the red seven and green searchlights one. in hand. You you got the Steven Seagal searchlight and the uh, David Schwimmer searchlight. But the the one thing that I but discover you... and then give up on. Um... <laughs> uh, 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 what, if you were if you were at all twisting your head sideways during that section, raise your hand right now. <laughs> Uh, we couldn't see if you were, but yeah. If you didn't, uh, you owe me ten bucks. I don't owe you anything. Well, no, I mean the people watching oh, okay. this. We're not watching this. Uh, you got hit, but that's okay. But that's that's okay, because I don't, I don't lose money with the buggy. And you have to do um, an extended somersault sequence to get into your buggy in the first place. Because they don't know how to actually just, put you in. Yeah, just put that out there. And... Uh, I also like how he looks behind himself when he reverses. Yeah, I, he's extremely conscientious. He's I recall player. commenting on the fact that they actually bothered to. He's a good driver. To animate that. Also, notice that and he has no power else. steering because every time he wants to turn left, he moves violently to the left. Oh, and he wants to turn yeah. right, he moves violently to the right because there's no power he's steering. He's a violent guy. Armored buggy has no power steering. And now I find the ramp that I was going to go up in the first place. I love how he puts his arm over the other seat too. It's very. Uh, it's oh, he's practicing macho. When he's got his woman with him. They put his no when he's uh, reversing. Yeah, it's macho. It's a macho way of doing. There's no other. Well, okay. No, it's not. It's like the I can't keep my own balance <laughs> way of doing it. It's like ah, uh, help me see, Mr. Oh. President. <laughs> okay, perhaps it's the old woman way of doing it. It's Either the, way. All right. Uh, old women are pretty much. It's true. Sorry, like Hillary Clinton, she's she's pretty much a guy. I tried to figure out where to go, but I think I found it. What do you want to do? You want to hit the, uh... Yeah, that's it. Okay. And, and then the all, the wreckage, so it's like... all the record wreckage will just disappear. And now you're just going to okay. try to long-distance these guys. And fail. And fail. 
And we couldn't. And I thought that was a good that you actually have to drive over to. Yeah. Even but, though there's no things. But we're all apprehensive because there's a hole in the ground. There's a hole. But and there's no things over the hole. So there's much debate as to whether we can make it over the hole. Here so, you go to check out the hole. Scabbing. Can we make that hole? No, now I go to hit the searchlight some more. Oh. I, I go to check to see if we've blown up enough searchlights to open the door. Because I'm pretty it's sure that I'm pretty sure that buggy can't actually make it over the hole, especially with those boxes in the way. Because somehow you, you still have to hit the Pat Sajak searchlight. I thought, yeah, you somehow thought that you didn't have to hit all the searchlights. What kind of a fool are you? It only said five. Yeah. Seven. Oh God, seven so searchlights. Are there actually seven searchlights, or are there really just five? I have no idea. I think there might be just five. I don't know why that one doesn't blow up like the rest of them do. It makes zero sense. It's the, program, it's the programmatic searchlight. It's the, it's the Pat Sajak searchlight. Alright, Vanna. You get your hell out of my kitchen. <laughs> get crosswording now. I want to see some words and vowels up there. You, don't you talk to me. <laughs> Give me some prizes, you old hag. What are you, 80? <laughs> I... How are you still on the show? <laughs> didn't, didn't Weird Al write a song about how he wants to bone you back in the 60s? Come on now. Oh, trapped in There's the closet buggy. with Vanna White. Wait, Is, you're gonna run over it. Run under it. Yeah. We're running under it because it's like one of those drifting movies where they drift underneath tractor trailers. <laughs> they drift only, underneath each other. Yeah, and they drift underneath each other. Only this That's time it's point. serious. You have annihilated a search chain. Alright. You scan the horizon for more search chain. Now I'm going to try to hit this one from a distance again because I don't think there's any way to get up there. Because, because still the game is completely non-obvious. How would you think that you could go over a bottomless pit with a buggy? <laughs> because <laughs> buggies are fast. Who because thinks shadow this? is extreme and you should think in extreme. But all the areas. others, all of the other gaps have whole, have, have, have uh, launchers. And this one simply does not have launchers. Why? We don't know. And you know, here, very just to go for it. You very just gotta, you know, just gotta go, go for it. You gotta slam a Mountain Dew. <laughs> and now we and play do a Trap Mania. Mania. And yeah, up shoot down. a rocket and, you know, get head from this chick all while crossing the gap. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. The last one? Finally. Or, yeah. And yes, yes, yes. The end, the end spawns right on top of this. Ah. What? Oh. Or maybe it, it doesn't. Or maybe just when you destroy the it's searchlights. Just, it's just when you destroy the searchlights, it ends it. And it's a B. You get, you get and you some, got five dollars. Some ring. Five rings. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so no. we got another cutscene? Or after yeah, we, we have a, we have a cutscene. That's not five rings. What? It was ten rings. It was ten rings. Probably. Yeah. It's now 421 a.m. 421 a.m., yeah. Oh. We were really... Um, actually, it was 421, right? Yes. Yeah. Huh. We got a Chaos Emerald somehow. And this giant... Don't you want to know what this is? My assignment was to rescue you, nothing more. Fine. With you, it's always business. Uh, monsters. It's not like you can beat up a million of them. It seems they don't want us to leave. Let's get this over with. I don't know. I don't know what we're getting. I no, have, you have no idea. I think they're just beating up like some dude. Uh, oh, it's puppies. But for some reason, they don't foreshadow the boss in the cutscene. It's just some robots. In the Robot scene. dogs. No, but not dogs. Are you on the ceiling? <laughs> Puffies with paper Puppies. cuts. Puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Little puppies love to play with reams of paper, but the paper uses <laughs> paper cuts, <laughs> and they don't feel paper cuts, so they just they just. <laughs> 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 Saddest damn thing you ever saw, I tell you. Oh, look at that dog. Go it's look, gonna get a paper. He's gonna run into a wall. Who's he running to the paper? 
<laughs> ready to be. Oh, we're gonna be poor doggy ready. That's right. It made robots happen. Uh, no, the robots were already there. He made searchlights unhappy. There are robots at all the searchlights. Quickly, quickly jump rail his the, ass. Get up oh. on the. Oh. oh. No, wait. We already made that joke. No, we no. did. Do we yeah. made it a couple of times. And now it won't let you. It won't, it won't let you rail. rail him. Now do you try to jump in his head like you did in the first video? Probably. I think you do. Uh, eventually, he says something like, "The armor is gone," so I assume that I can give him cannons to the face. Well, I mean, jump in his face to like jump directly onto the pole. Oh, like, I don't think I do that. I don't think I do that. I always think we're trying. He's something applied directly. Apply directly to the flying ship. And now we need to find the paper. And now we have to destroy all the Fa oh, paper found. Paper found. <laughs> the walls are in fact made of paper. All right, so the paper that paper's been destroyed. Find the copier. Create more paper. Right here, I discover something, and I have no idea what it does. It's really dumb, is what it does. It's, it's a are. it's a power blast. I think it neutralizes. So that's not Chaos Spear? That's Chaos Spear. No, okay. it, it removes tough stains. But it has nothing to do with pushing R1. It has to do with pushing, holding B in the air. Or square. And all it does is stun enemies, right? Yeah, all it does is stun enemies. And not in a radius, so you have to hit enemies with it. Pretty much. And which makes it impossible to use. And I've discovered fantastically annoying to use in multiplayer against your opponent. Because you discovered multiplayer. That's yes, I did. I, I played multiplayer with no time for socks. It was pretty yeah, Pretty well, terrible, actually. Uh, man, uh, man, let's see. And the other thing is, look, Rouge is all following you. But she doesn't do anything. She doesn't even touch trying it. to jump in his face right here. Right, because they said that the canopy came out. Oh. Uh, well, what canopy? She's, she's trying to catch up to you and tell you, hey, I've got, I found this other thing. It looks like a detonator. Maybe it blows up the bomb on this guy's back. Should I push the button or something? Well, and then, you know, the obvious... Then you can turn invisible! <laughs> <laughs> that was Chaos Control. Uh, it's activated by pushing R4. And then, here come the pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what's he doing? He's getting up. He, he's getting oh, to the game. Well, you do have to get up to get down, so... He... And he's bunking at the moon. What did he do up there? Um... Nothing. He didn't prepare for a stomp. Oh, he just prepared for a stomp, so he just wastes time up there. It's a, it's a psychability free cap. Oh, you just make a drone circle. Oh, no, what are you doing? But you're a user. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that didn't that make was, any sense at all. You, you, you were tossing it there. Nick. <laughs> Good old NG8. Nick, Ooh, do what I tell you. Oh, no. More explosions. I mean, look, he's a hell of drunk now. <laughs> look at that guy. You, I am 86 in your ass. You, that is, you, you have hit your limit. All right, Cerberus, give me your keys. <laughs> You're done. You're I'm gonna. You can come back tomorrow. Enough. You can come back tomorrow, and they'll be in this register. I don't care. I'm going to slash your tires. <laughs> I'm going to put. If this, you love your friends, you slash their I'm tires. going to put this knife. I don't even know what just happened. I'm gonna you put this off. knife in your exhaust, and you I'm gonna rub off. a potato all over your car. <laughs> You're gonna hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna Come smell to Jesus. awful. I'm <laughs> and you win. And power yeah, loading. Win. You win a loading screen. <laughs> power wave. And All right. an exploded he just ate the DOA. He just ate the paper. He ate the DOA sauce at Buffalo Wing University. From covered in paper. And robots are notoriously bad at spicy food. Oh yeah. No, even worse than me. They're also notoriously bad at raisins. <laughs> ice, ice, raisins. Ice raisins wouldn't be such a bad deal. Well, you are on Shadow Moses Iceland. <laughs> you know, which is located 20 miles south of Iceland, California. I swim to California. Yeah. Rest yeah, in peace. Oh. So get the raisins. Hey, we got a gold thing. Yeah. Gold, uh, Soliana gold medal. There was, there was someone who made... We can actually reference it. Right yeah, a little that? bit. Oh yeah. my god. There was someone who made like that post about the unlock criteria for getting other people... Yeah, I looked at... Actually, I looked that up on Game Facts a while ago. And it's like... And you get... That is such a great idea, yet it's accomplished entirely through missions. Right. 
And missions are done. Uh oh, we got a cutscene. No, boy. We're in a advanced phase. Somehow, we don't know. Just, it, we got warped here. This is ah, Soliana, the city of water. It has a constitutional monarchy, you know. <laughs> the primary industries are tourism and crafty precision machinery. And they export potassium. Also, exporting Lolicon. You. The current sovereign is Princess Elisa III. Why does Eggman's base lead to an odd place like this? How should I know? I just followed my orders and retrieved the item. Anyway, I have a little favor to ask of you. A favor? Could you escort me to the gun rendezvous point? Where's the rendezvous point? It's the ancient castle of Soliana in Kingdom Valley. Kingdom Valley? And just so you know, it's G-U-N, not gun. Yes. It's gun. No, it's G-U-N. It's, no, I talked to Yuki Naja, he said it's gun. Oh, okay. I, if Yuki Naja said it's okay. But everyone else in the game says it's G-U-N. They're wrong. Really? I'm right. Um, because I'm big, strong, and green. Well, Rouge is right. Hey, let's you're ask... You're not right. I, you're you're hey, Rouge. Hey, oh, right. we need an impartial mediator. Let's ask Jane Fonda for her opinion on what it is. It's gone! Oh, Stop well. the Vietnam War! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Jane Fonda. Anytime! <laughs> okay, so now we got a town. Towns are um, gonna I, I think we got Ho Jem like, going the wrong way. And no one's suspicious of this at him strange again. black hedgehog. He's clearly not a fake hedgehog running around the town. I think faker. I think, I think, um, Ilves and I actually got it wrong, too. Oh, could be. And I think we led him over to the alleyway for something. Oh, right, this is the one where Medibot saves the day. It says, yeah, I thought he was already way. asleep at this point. <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean I can't save the day. <laughs> that could be, actually, yeah. Or, maybe. Yeah, oh, there's the forest. There's the forest. Oh, I guess we found it. So it Head for the. More from the. The Hoover <laughs> Head for the main. I don't know, Medibot, do you remember seeing any of this? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, you remember okay. that penis-shaped object at the bottom right of the screen? So Dude. that's why I left it. Do you yeah. remember? I, I, I know you, 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 you fell asleep during Kingdom Valley, I think. I think. While the hunting happened. It's okay. Uh, we were quite tired. Yeah, we, we gave up after this hour, which is why the microphone probably only happened for this hour. Oh, we find a shot. There's an air uh, That's easy. Yeah, we didn't have light damage. Like and, uh, we didn't know what- oh, that's what- it upgrades the chaos, um... Uh, yeah, chaos snap. But it's stupid, why would- Well, it, it applies to both the thing in the air and the, uh, R1. Oh, okay. So it is good. Yes, it's everything chaos. Also, memories are very powerful. Too. You need like that. You You're powerful play. and dangerous, because every time a memory it's happens- It's also in a chip, which is really strange. Yeah, every time a memory happens, you, uh... Summon a giant robot. This game likes to use a computer metaphor for unknown reasons for character models. And I led I led him up there to find that silver medal. I'm just pretty awesome at finding silver medals. You realize that the more silver medals he collects, the more eternities he will spend in hell. Uh, it's okay, because it's not um, me spending the eternities, it's, it's Shadow. <laughs> is, it, is it one to one? Like, one eternity per silver medal? Actually, it's there? exponential after the first. Yeah. I found a tree. And we found that, and I told him to spring on it, but uh, it did it trap. Bad idea. Spring to nowhere. Basically, it was, it's the spring that's used to get you back up there if something goes wrong. And, it, and you know what? Oh, man. There you go there. Look at this huge open area. Check it out. And you get in the middle of it, and your map is just this blank white area. And you can't Dante. figure out. Man. And he's inviting us to some sort of mission that we do not that want to try. That involves driving. Do not missions want to are try. really, really dumb. Really, really dumb. Missions are only good for earning things that we don't want to earn. Missions are only good for when. Well, missions are good in this game. Let's put it that way. Here's where, where we have chaos, the wall, or something. Yeah. And there's Harry Potter again. What's he doing? We don't, oh, we don't notice he's Harry Potter yet. Oh. Chaos, so, the wall. We hook out. And we, we think we're supposed to zap it. 
but you don't no. have the power. Zappy doesn't do it. Uh, walking on it doesn't do it. And then, as it turns out, homing attacking does it. So you're supposed to Hulk out and then you're homing attacking. Exactly. But I thought yes. you homing attacked it and then, first. Whoa, was that Harry Potter? This uh, Harry Potter. And, and then another mystical and portal is that for some reason here. here. So we don't have to use owls this time. We do remember to say we got somewhere. So that brings us 